So let's arrive in this time and space. Pull the shoulders back, close your eyes. And just arrive in the present moment. Nothing else matters right now. You're dedicating this time, this energy, this moment to your practice. So I want you to slow your breath right down now. Relax into the shoulders, relax into the jaw, and take your gaze inside of yourself. So there's no looking outside for anybody else's approval. Nobody else's thoughts or opinions matter right now. It's all about yourself, strengthening your own physical, mental, and emotional body. As your back is tall and long, feeling strong in the spine, knowing that your body is strong, fit, and healthy. And acknowledging that right now. Just taking a moment to think about whatever you would like to gain from your practice this morning. Breathing in and out. Relax into the shoulders. Relax into the jaw. Bring your hands to your heart space. And really connect to the emotion of love. And let's take our love, our energy, our thoughts, our prayers, our absolutely everything that we have and lift it all the way up, all the way up to the sky and send all of our thoughts, our love, our energy and our prayers, everything that we have, lift it all the way up and out and send it out into the universe out to whoever, wherever needs it. Beautiful, lift and reach strong. And then bring your hands back down to your own heart. Breathing in and exhale through the mouth. And let it all go, breathe it in. Exhale, everything that no longer serves you. Good, and do that one more time, breathe it in. Let it all go. Awesome work. So breathing in, opening your eyes now, we're going to breathe in and exhale, release, good, breathe in, lifting, rising up, exhale, release, good, lots of energy now, breathe in, exhale, release, this time we're going to add in a twist, we're going to inhale and exhale, the left hand onto the right knee and the right fingertips are back behind you and twist the body around. Inhale, lift and lengthen, exhale, twist the body around. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Good, and then take the hand down to the floor and lift over to the same side. So all the way over, now we're reaching straight. You're just gonna allow this space to soften. So you can bring the hand in front of the face and then back behind it. In front, reaching out and then back. Just flow with your own body now. And just do whatever your body is asking you to do to open up through the side of the body. Good, and bring the hands back to center. Inhale, and then twist around the other way. Fingertips down. Inhale, exhale, twisting the body around now. Let's be tall and strong. Pressing into the left fingertips, and exhale, twist the body around. One more time. Inhale, lift, and exhale. Twist the body all the way around. Beautiful. And then take the hand down by the side of the body, lifting up and then reach. So all the way up and then exhale. So again, just work into the shoulder. So whether the hand comes back behind the ear 
and then bringing your arm forward. So again, you're opening out down the side of the body. Really feel how it feels to be in your body this morning. And just be grateful that you are in your physical body this morning. Take the fingertips back behind you, lift the chin and smile. That's it, good. Lifting up, lift the chin, smile, lift the chin, smile. And then bring the hands and rock out down into the lower back. And then take the fingertips back behind you. Let's lift the chin and smile again, just because we can. And it's sunny and it's beautiful. It's Saturday morning. And then reach away one more time. Press the heels of the hands away. Take the fingertips back behind you. Lift and lengthen. Reach and smile. Beautiful work. All oh, wonderful. Good. So rolling down to the floor. Yes, we're going to start with some wonderful core work. Rolling down. Rock it out from side to side, just rocking. Roll the knees one side and the other. Bring the right knee into the chest. I know I love to start with this, it's a beautiful warm up. We roll up, we relax the shoulders, point this leg so it's strong. Pour in, inhale, exhale. Good, inhale, exhale. And exhale, pull the body up towards the knee. Now, if you struggle with your neck at all, you can place the head back down onto a pillow or you can just drop it down to the floor. But what you want to do is keep the neck as relaxed as possible and pull up through the core. Good. Squeezing, squeezing. Let's make this really dynamic so we don't have to do loads of them. Good. Squeeze. Pull the belly in. Squeeze. Exhale. Squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, and eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's slow it down for four, three, and two, and one. Let's take it quick for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Slow, 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 slow. Last eight quick. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, relax, good work. So important to keep the core strong, the powerhouse of the body. Beautiful, you're gonna take the legs in the air. I prefer to take the hands back behind me. We're gonna do a little reverse curl here, and then you're gonna exhale and drop the feet down. Not too far that you lose control of the lower back. You come back up, inhale. Exhale, reverse curl, control it. And then you exhale, slowly, 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 just as far as you can without the lower back move, moving too far that you're compromising the, the posture, yeah, the, the movement. So lifting up, control it, breathe it out as low as you can, pause, 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 strong into the left, come back up. And exhale, squeeze. Let's see how high we can go up. And exhale, breathe, 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 breathe. Don't you just love it when I start, start with some core work? I know you do. Let's do that again. Lift it up, squeeze. Beautiful. And pull down, 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 down. Hold, 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 hold. And come back up one more. Beautiful. Lifting up and rolling down again. Exhale. Exhale, hold it, hold it, release. Good, bring the knees into the chest, rock it out from side to side. Beautiful work. So let's roll all the way up, just massaging the spine into the floor, rolling up, let's hold up, let's hold up, let's hold up. Beautiful, good, lifting up. Breathe, 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 full core in. I'm sure your core is saying good morning right now, right? Take the arms away if you can. Can we straighten the legs a little bit more? Can we straighten the legs a little bit more? Oh, 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 oh. All the way up, beautiful. Good morning, everybody. If you're watching this on replay, then it's a good afternoon or good evening. Spread out through the fingers, come onto all fours now. Separate the knees so they're underneath the hips. We're gonna inhale and lift into the chin and then Exhale, pull the body back. Move the body quite dynamically. I know that your core is already awake. Your belly's already said hello. All back now. Really use your breath now. So we inhale, lift up. 
Exhale, pull back. <clears throat> inhale to lift. <coughs> exhale. I'm the only person that can choke on herself, yes? And press down. Down we go, really pressing into the hands. Make sure they're fully spread out and attached into the floor. Beautiful, strong into your arms. Wonderful work, guys. Good, good, good. Grow the body forward, turn the toes underneath, bottom into the heels. Now really press down into those feet. I want your feet to have a really good stretch. Pull the core in and then start to lift the hips up. Good. We really press back into the heels, into the first down facing dog of the day. Now let's rock it out from side to side. Let's rock it out from side to side. Good. Just rocking it out, rocking it out, rocking it out. Now we're going to have a little bit of fun here. Good. So, roll the body forwards. Inhale. Exhale. Pull back. Good. We're going to do five of these. So, inhale. Hold. Pull the core in. Exhale. Pull back. And again, inhale. Hold. Exhale. Pull back. We've got two more. Inhale forward. Exhale, pull back. And again, inhale, come forward. We're going to lift the right arm up to come into side plank. If you need to drop the left knee down onto the floor, that's absolutely fine. We reach the hand over the ear and press the hips forwards a couple of inches. Good. One foot ideally on top of the other, as best you can. And then take the right hand back down to the floor and lift up to the other side. So lift the hips, press the hips forward, and then we can drop the arm over the ear. Lift your chin, smile at any given opportunity. Beautiful work. And then drop the hands down. Good, let's come into Chaturanga, pull back up, and down into down facing dog. So we're gonna walk the hands all the way back to the feet. Now if you've done this in my classes before, you know that I don't actually normally do it. I stand up and walk around, so this is going to be really good fun for all of us. With your left piece fingers, you're going to hold on to the big toe. Fingers of the right hand down onto the floor, and we are simply going to lift up the left leg so it's parallel to the floor. Come on, all get up and join me. It's not the easiest. We're going to stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Good work. <laughs> Take the left hand down to the floor. Right piece fingers round the big toe. Are you ready? Let's lift it up. Hold, hold for five, four, three, higher, two, one. Drop down. Bring the hands all the way forward again and just rock it out into the facing dog. I bet you loved that, didn't you? Let's meet in your yogic squat. Ah. Such a fun thing to do, right? Well, I call it fun. Not everybody agrees with me. <laughs> it's challenging fun. Beautiful. Lengthen into the back. Awesome work. So, if you struggle to get the heels down to the floor, don't worry. Practice it every single day. You can bring a, a pillow or some kind of cushioning underneath the heels. You can even roll the back of the mat up and use that, that to put underneath the heels so that you are able to balance. You're lengthening into the back here. So we're going to bring the left arm in front of the left knee and take the right arm up to the sky. Let's find a bind here. <coughs> find a bind. And take your right arm all the way. So you're pulling your right shoulder back. Now your right knee wants to, um, to close in. Keep squeezing the knees open. Beautiful. Release. Squeeze the knees back away. Take the right hand in front of the right knee. Left arm up. And then all the way around. If you're stiff in your shoulders, this will be a challenge. So, all good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Squeeze the knees open and away from each other. And then bringing the hands down. So, just 
bring the feet about hip distance apart, rocking out from side to side, wiggle out, that's it, exhale, peel the bottom down, just do whatever you feel that you need to do right now, pull the belly in and slowly roll all the way up to standing. Beautiful work guys, beautiful work. Okay, come onto the front of your mat, bring your feet so that they're close together, you lift up the toes and you hold onto the floor with the feet, tighten through the thighs, pull the shoulders back, hands to the heart space. Inhale and exhale. Settle your breath down. Good. Inhale the energy all the way up to the sky now. Reach, pull the ribs back. And then exhale. Down we go. With purpose. Heel the body down. Lift halfway up, lengthen into the back, exhale, peel the body down, bend the knees, lift the energy, back up with intention, all the way, exhale, use the ujjayi breath, pull the body down, inhale, halfway, exhale, down, bend the knees, inhale, up, beautiful, exhale, down we go, to the chin on the inhale, up. Exhale, inhale, bring the energy up. We're going to move now. Exhale, down we go to the chin. Up. Inhale, left and exhale, down. Take the right leg all the way back. Can we drop the knees? Press those hips forwards. Inhale, exhale, pull the arms all the way back. Coming down into down facing dog. Pressing back into the heels. Spread the fingers out. Roll the body forwards. Now lower the knees. Elbows tight to the body, lower. Point the toes back behind you, roll the shoulders back. Bottom into the heels and extend into down facing dog. Inhale, exhale, down into the heels. Good, bring your right foot forward and drop the back knee down, cat good. Inhale, lift, exhale, pull those arms back, back, back. Wonderful, bring the hands down, turn the toes underneath. Step to the front of the mat, straighten the legs and peel the body down. Inhale up. Wonderful. Exhale down. Tuck the chin under. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Take the left leg all the way back carefully. Drop the knees, press the hips forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Lengthen. Pull those arms back, back, back. Breathe yourself down into your down facing dog. Roll the body forwards, knees, chest and chin, lower, point the toes back. Bottom into the heels, extend into down facing dog. Beautiful, bring the left foot forward, drop the knee. Inhale in, exhale, lengthen. Hands down, turn the toes underneath, step the body forwards and exhale. Good. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, straight back down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, down. Take your right leg all the way back. Carefully drop the knee. Press the hips forwards. Inhale, exhale. Hands come down into down facing dog. We go. Pressing back into the heels. Roll the body forwards, knees, chest and chin lower. Point the toes back behind. Bottom into the heels and extend into down facing. Pressing into the heels. Bring the right foot forward, drop the left knee. Inhale, lift, exhale. Wonderful. Hands come down. Toes turned under. Lift and lengthen. Pull the chest down. Bend the knees and inhale, lift, exhale. Pull straight back down. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, down, left leg points all the way back. Carefully drop the knee. Inhale, lift, exhale. Coming down into your down facing dog. Good, stay there. Moving forwards into your plank. Knees, chest and chin, lower. Shoulders back. Put them into the heels and extend into down facing. Beautiful. Left foot comes forward, drop the back knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale. 
Hands come down. Step the body forwards. Inhale all the way down. Inhale, lift. And then bring the hands to the heart space. Drop the hands, close your eyes and stay here. Stay still, stay grounded. Just be still for a moment. Really feel into your body. Feel how it feels. Notice the energy. Notice the breath where you're breathing into. Steady, slow, be present. Oh, wonderful. Opening your eyes back up. Relax into the shoulders. Inhale, lift the arms up now. Exhale, heel down to the chin. Inhale, halfway up, spread out through the fingers. Step our job back into plank. Chaturanga. Back into plank. Lovely. Chaturanga. Inhale, up facing dog. Now your knees want to be on the floor. Off the floor, sorry. Shoulders back, tighten through the bottom. Lower body is strong. Lift the hips up. Exhale down into your down facing. Beautiful work. Bring the right foot forward to keep the left heel off into your high lunge. So really strong here. Keep pressing back into the back heel. Exhale, lower down. Press into the right foot. Now this is really intentional here. Building strength in the body, lowering down. Lift your chin and smile. Good. When you lift your chin and smile, I can get away with anything, right? Exhale, down, almost down. Now hold, 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 hold. Yes, let's get lower. Let's get lower. Press into that front leg. Lifting up, beautiful, reach and stretch. Now frame the front foot, lengthen into the back and bring your right foot back. Chaturanga, plank. Chaturanga, inhale, facing dog. Good. Exhale, down, facing dog. Breathe. Bring that left foot forward. Okay, lift the energy up. All the way. Okay, exhale. Lower the right knee down towards the floor. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Use your ujjayi. Inhale. Exhale. Hold. Hold. Anybody else got a shaky leg? <laughs> Good. Now lifting back. Frame the front foot, lengthen into the back. Come into plank. Chaturanga. Plank. Chaturanga. Inhale with joy. Shoulders back. Beautiful. Exhale down, facing dog. Stay here for five breaths. Spread the fingers out. Press back into the heel. Tighten through the thighs and pull the belly in. Breathe strong now. Now press the energy out of the hands and all the way up and back down into the heel. Lifting the energy. So if I was behind you, I'd be pulling your thigh back. Beautiful, pull the core strong. Breathing in and out, wonderful. Now bend the knees. Your eyes are gonna step or jump to the front of the mat. Exhale. <coughs> Heeling down. So we're bending the knees, we're interlinking the thumbs, and we're gonna come all the way up. Press the hips forward. Look all the way back behind you. Take the arms over the head and exhale down. Inhaling, exhaling, arms over the head. Good, really getting the chest down towards the thighs, down towards the knees. Arms over the head, now bend the knees. 
drop the bottom and start to lift up to your chair posture. Inhaling, let's get lower, let's get deeper. Lift the chin, your drishti is in between the thumbs, and then exhale, peel the body down. Inhale, halfway, spread out through the fingers, step or jump, back into plank, chaturanga. Plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up facing. Exhale, down facing. Right foot comes forwards, press back into the back heel, lift up. Inhaling. Reaching up, exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Hold. I think I'm doing a little pulse here, which is quite good. Should we all have a go? Tiny little pulse here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold. Now bring your arms all the way up. You're going to push forward and come. I'm going to come into the wall, but we're going to come into our balance into Warrior 3. Breathe, press into both heels, press into both heels, drop the left hip. Drop the left hip. Now bend your right knee slightly. Straighten it. Good. And then back into your high lunge. Fabulous. Bring your foot. Come all the way down. Bring the right leg all the way back behind you now. Now open up into your baby scorpion. Look underneath the right shoulder. But pull the right shoulder down. Come high onto the left toes and then roll the body down. Tuck the chin under and give your knee a kiss. Point the toes. Come back into your three-legged dog. The right knee now comes into your left armpit. Find your twist. Hold it. All the way back. Right knee. To right armpit, hold it, come all the way back into three-legged dog, move forwards into plank, hold it here, or chaturanga. Inhale, up facing, exhale, down facing. Breathe. Good, left foot forwards, bring the back heel up. And let's exhale, down, lifting up, stretch. So really strong into this leg that's back behind you. Exhale, so right leg back behind you, keep strong into the front of it. Lifting up, good. Down we go, lifting up. We're gonna hold down this time. So down, let's hold here. So remember last time we've had a bit of fun with this? We did a little pulse, didn't we, to you? So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift the arms up. Okay, are we ready? We are. Lift up into your warrior three. Drop your right hip. Pull those fingers away. Get that heart beat. Squeezing, come on, get your heartbeat going. Get your heart rate going, should I say now, bend the left leg. Let's get low, let's get low, let's get low. And then straighten it again. Reach the fingers away. All the way back up we go. And come down, frame your front foot. And then come all the way into your baby scorpion. Really press down into the right heels. Look underneath the armpit. Watch you don't twist too much. You're pulling the left shoulder down. Come high onto the toes, roll the body through, give your left knee a kiss, squeeze it, pull up, all the way back up. Now, reach and stretch, three legged dog, then bring the left knee into the right armpit and pause and hold. Pause, hold, pause, 
hold and hold, lift all the way back up. Yeah, left knee to left armpit. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Kick all the way back, three-legged dog. And then bring the body forwards into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, facing up. Exhale. Five breaths, really pressing down into the heels. Stay where you are. Beautiful, you're doing so well. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I'm allowed to breathe because I'm talking through it all. I would recommend that you don't. It keeps the fire, the acne in your body alive and strong when you don't cool it down with water. Ideally, you should rehydrate before your class. Okay, bend the knees. Step or jump forwards to the front of your mat. Let's hair the body down. Feel the body pulling forward and extending into the back body. Bend the knees, interlink the thumbs. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, pull back, beautiful, all the way back. And then strong and straight, arms and legs. Inhaling, exhaling, really pull the hands over the head. Good, bend the knees, lift up, reach up and hold. Look up to the thumbs, look up to the thumbs, look up to the thumbs, extend down. Inhale, lift the legs and spread out through the fingers. Bend the knees. Step or jump all the way back behind. Good. Chaturanga. Plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up facing dog. Beautiful. Exhale, down facing dog. Right foot forward. Let's be strong into this lunge. Exhale, open through heart. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, down. All the way up. Exhale. Hold it. Let's get low, let's get deep. Let's do some little pulses here for fun. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift. Propel the body forward with strength and courage into your warrior three. Lower the left hip, bend the right leg. She starts wobbling all over the place. We're reaching up, take the fingertips down to the floor. Now lift your left leg as high as you can, but peel your body all the way down and over the right thigh. Good, peel and then lift. Bring your right hand, if you can, around the back of the elbow and pull your body forward. Breathe. Now we're going to drop the left hip, press the left heel away from the body so that your, if you look at your leg back behind you, it's parallel with the floor. Bring the hands to the heart space, and let's meet in warrior two. Woo! We should be able to start feeling this heat building in the body now. So we want to think about the hips coming up into the armpits, yeah? So, we don't want to lean forwards here. Drop low and deep, squeeze the knee into the little toe side of the foot. Pull the belly in. Now we want really strong warrior arms. Inhale, exhale. Let's get low and deep. Do check that the left arm hasn't pulled forwards. You're in a really strong line here. So bend into your right knee even deeper. Hopefully you should be feeling this in your legs here, P. <laughs> if you are, and I am. Over we go. Lengthen into the back. Beautiful. Now let's do all the way back into our baby scorpion. You are doing so well. 
And then tire onto the left toes. Breathe your right knee into the chest. Pull your core in. Keep your right ear, kids. Kick all the way. Open and back again. Now bring your right knee into your left armpit. Squeeze it, hold it, squeeze. Kick all the way back. So, bring your knee into your armpit, or you can maybe place the knee on top of the tricep. Bring the left tricep in. Can you lift the leg? It's a little bit of fun. Hey, and it doesn't matter if you face plant, guys. I mean, I do care about your face, but <laughs> nobody's watching you, right? Come forwards, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down facing dog. Take one breath here. To bring the equilibrium back into that wonderful body of yours. Left foot comes forward. Inhale, up. Reach. Exhale, down we go. Inhale, reach. Exhale, down. Lifting up. And we're going to hold it down, down, down. Lovely, and we know what happens here, right? Lovely little bouncing. Lower, lower. Four, three, two, lift up, let's power the body forward, all the way into your warrior three, arms over the head, keep pressing into the back heel, and then we lower down as best as we can, lifting all the way back up, and then peel the body forward. So at this point, we bring the right leg as high as we can, and then peel your body over the front thigh, and if you can, take the left hand around the back of the heel and pull the body down. Breathe. I'm <coughs> much wobbly on this leg. Don't know about you guys. Good. Now drop your right hip so that when you look at your right leg, it's parallel with the floor. Start to lengthen into your back. Good work. Bring the hands to the heart space and let's meet in warrior two. So the left foot is forwards here. Drop low and deep. Remember the armpits directly over the hips. Strong into the arms. Let's deepen into the left knee. Left knee is pulling into your little toe, side of your foot. Inhale and exhale. Breathe. Let's get lower. Now again, check your arms. Make sure your right arm is in alignment with your left and your arms are long and strong. Inhale and exhale. Let's get lower. Let's get deeper. We are loving life right now. I do hope that you are. Inhale and exhale. Breathe. And then over we go. Turn the back heel round. And the left leg comes all the way up. Drop the left shoulder. And then come high onto the right toes. Pull the body forwards. And then roll the left knee into your chest. You can hear this. Kick all the way back. Left knee into right armpit. Good. Bring it high. Bring it high. Bring it high. Good. Left leg all the way back. Now we're going to bring it into the armpit or if you can to the tricep. You can bring the right elbow into the body. Lift the back leg. For a second, for a bit of fun. Take the left leg back behind you. Roll the body forwards. Chaturanga. Inhale up facing dog. Keep those knees off the floor and exhale into down facing dog. Really press down into the heels and let's hang out here. You've got five breaths. Inhale. 
and exhale. Really working on getting the inhale and the exhale as long as each other, so the breathing becomes even. Breathing in and out. In is yin feminine, exhale is masculine energy. So again, it will help to balance the energies in your body if you balance the breath. Good. Doing so well. Bend the knees. Lift through. Exhale, peel the body down. Inhaling, exhale. Bend the knees, interlink the thumbs, and inhale up. Exhale, extend, tighten the bottom. Inhale, the arms over the head. Exhale, we peel the body forward. Inhaling and exhaling. Bend the knees. Roll all the way up. Reaching and stretching. Down we go. Inhale, halfway up. Spread out through the fingers. Okay, lift the heels off the floor. Grip into your core. And we're really working on getting the, the legs up and back as high as we can when we leap all the way back. Good. Chaturanga. Plank for fun. Chaturanga. Up facing. Beautiful. Shoulders back. Exhale. Down facing. That's it. We're powering into the strength of the body now. So bringing the right foot forward. Strong. Team. Think strong. We inhale the energy all the way up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale and hold. Here, here, here. Isn't it wonderful? Good. Breathe. Four, three. Put the luck in. Two. One, okay, are we ready to power forwards? I think we are. Arms up in two, she wobbles. It's fine to wobble and it's fine to fall, guys. Good, we just need to keep getting back up. Bend your right knee. Good, get lower, lower, lower. Lift back up. This time we're gonna take the right hand down to the floor and open up into your half moon. So, lift your left leg as high as you can, reach all the way up, reach into the left foot, straighten the right leg and pull the left arm back. So, can we look up to the left thumb? Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. If you're a bit more advanced, you can take hold of your foot. If you've got the balance, so a bit of fun. My version of fun and your version of fun might be a little different to the side. Take the left hand down. Right, we're gonna lower the hip again so the left leg is parallel. Bring the hands to the heart space. Oh. And bend into your right knee. Good. Feel that heart rate. Isn't it amazing? Let's get lower. Squeeze these knees away. Open these hips away from each other. Core is pulled in. Arms are strong. Inhale. Let's go forwards and lengthen here. Right leg comes all the way back. Look underneath the armpits. Beautiful, feel the large, lift all the way up, bring the right knee into the chest, give it a kiss, kick all the way back behind you, left knee into left armpit. Let's lift the left arm up and kick the right leg out. Because we can, you might want to drop the foot down, that's fine, but if you can, lift it, lift it, lift it, take the hand down. All the way up. 
Good. Bend your right knee, look under the armpit. You can, if you like, allow the body to fall over and come into wild thing. Breathe. Left shoulder over the left wrist. Press all of the love out of your body into the universe. Out it goes. Good. And then we can take your right knee and take it onto the right tricep, if you like, or just into the armpit. You can bring your body down. Kick all the way back, just for fun, right? Come forward to into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Couple of breaths here. Woo! It's so much fun talking through all of this and doing it as well. I hope that I don't sound like I'm heavy breathing through the airways, guys. Beautiful. I am heavy breathing, but it's all good. Let's bring that left foot forward and be strong, please. Lifting up, lifting up, lifting up. Beautiful. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All the way up. And exhale. And hang out here. Hang out. Hang out. Hang out. Lovely. Breathe. Breathe. Catch so much fun. Yeah. With your own body, right? Three, two, one. Lifting up. Are we ready to power this forward? We are. Reach and stretch. Lift that right heel up. Press into the heel. Lower the left bottom to the floor, stretch it back up, two forward. This time we take the left fingertips down, lift the right leg as high as we can. So we really work on stacking one hip over the other. So you are literally, and now I'm cheating and holding onto the wall, don't watch me. So we're going to lift the right leg up, look up to the right thumb. If you can, you can take hold of the right leg behind you, but you don't want to close the hip in order for that to happen. Keep pressing the hips forward. Press the hips forward. Good, good, good. And then release. Take the right hand down to the floor. Lower the right hip. Yes, you should be feeling this in your hips right now, guys. Hands to the heart space. And warrior two. Let's get low. Let's get deep. Beautiful work. Breathe. Allow the breathing to settle down. Watch where this left knee is going into the little turn. Check the back arm. Inhale, exhale. And roll the body through. Lower, lengthen into the chest. Good stuff. Now let's bring the left leg all the way back, because we can. Look underneath the left armpit. Press down into the left, into the right heel, guys. Beautiful. So you know the drill, right? Lift high onto the right toes. Pull the core in. Right, give that amazing knee of yours a kiss. Point the toes, kiss it. Mwah. Beautiful. Kick all the way back. Look underneath the armpit. Press into the right heel. Doesn't this feel wonderful? You're going to bring the shoulders over the wrists. And if you can, you're going to twist your right arm open and kick your left leg. Good. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Yes. Take the right hand down. Take all the way back. Come on. Bend the left knee. And if you want to again, you can come into a wild thing. Lovely. Throw all the love in your heart out into the universe. Throw it all the way out. Good, the universe needs your love. We all need your love. Go ahead and press those hips up to the sky. Beautiful work. Amazing. Drop the left hand down. And again, you can bring the left knee into the left armpit. Or you can bring it into your tricep. You can drop the right elbow. And just for fun, you can lift the back leg. You know. As I said, my version of fun and yours might be slightly different, but it doesn't matter, it's all good. Chaturanga. 
Inhale, up facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog, right heel. You should be pretty damn warm by now. You're gonna lower both elbows down to the floor. Let go of all fear and hanging out. Press down into the heels. We're gonna work into your shoulder mobility and your core strength, yeah? We're all gonna do this together. We're gonna exhale the body forward, lower. Come all the way back. Exhale, lower. Good. Come all the way back. Lower. Come all the way back. How are we doing? How wonderful are we feeling? Squeeze. All the way back. Yes, if you're warm like me, your elbows may be falling away from each other. Try and keep them as parallel as possible. Good. Exhale, come down. We've got four more after this one. Anybody else got a shake on? It's all good. Don't judge me. <laughs> I won't judge you. We're all in this together, team. Three more. Oh, yes. Two more. Yeah, I'm slipping all over the place. One more. Uh, okay, you're going to bring your toes up towards your hands. Spread out your hands and look towards your thumbs. You're going to lift one leg up and just hang out here. If you've got, if you want to do a little lift, you can. And then you can change legs and do a little lift, which might not be as successful on the other side. And then I'm going to let you have a little rest. Now, if you're warm, don't put your head down, bring your hands into your, into your, what's it called, the girl, this chin. <laughs> Welcome to my world of teaching. For those of you who don't know, normally do classes with me, I often call body parts things that they're not. And what the weird thing is, <laughs> everybody knows what I'm talking about. And we put the makeup, the chist. That's chin, chin, chin in the chest. It's called the chist. Everybody seems to know what I'm reading. I don't know if it's warmer, but I am really warm today. It takes me a while to get on the sweaty, actually. But it's, yeah, it's warm. Awesome work. I hope that you're feeling amazing, guys. So, you should be warm enough now for us to have a really good stretch out coming into Pashimotanasana forward fold. So lengthen in again. Remember any opportunity that we've got to lift the chin and smile. Let's get those happy hormones flying around the body. Even if it's only for this moment where we can muster up as much energy and determination to be happy and present right now. Let's do it. Let's just commit to being happy and present right now. Now lift the arms all the way up. We're going to fold forwards from the hips. If you can hold on to the big toes and the pinky fingers, brilliant. If not, brilliant. It doesn't matter. You can hold on to the legs, but we want to make sure that the body is elevated and you're not huddling over so that you're struggling to breathe. Remember, we're building up your lung capacity. And if you haven't watched my video on building your and strengthening your lung capacity, um, which comes along with a immune boosting meditation, that's another video on my YouTube channel, please do that and share it because some of the, the traditional yoga breathing is what we all need to be doing right now because we all need to be expanding, strengthening, and preserving our lung capacity as best as possible. And some of these traditional yogis knew what the hell they were talking about, right? This stuff's been 5,000 years in the making, preparing us for what's going on right now. Make use of these tools. So there's my little run. Take the hands back behind you. Any shoulder ridge issues, you just listen to your own body. You can either take the feet down to the floor, press the hips up and come into a reverse tabletop. Or you're going to bring the feet and the legs together. 
We're working with the hands are into the body, um, wrists just below the shoulders. We're lifting the hips up, bringing the feet together and getting the feet down to the floor. Press into the hands, press the hips up to the sky. Reach, 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 lift, 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 lift. Feeling wonderful, feeling wonderful. Lower the bottom carefully down. Reach all the way up and then peel the body forward. Lengthen into the back and then use the exhale to settle yourself down a little bit deeper. Breathing in and out. Good. Let's do that again. Take the hands down, lift the hips up. Press all the way up, keep the feet down to the floor as best you can. Press those hips as high as you can, high as you can, high as you can, and then lower and bottom carefully down to the floor. Lifting up and drawing yourself forward. Lift and lengthen elbows down by the side of the body. Pull the belly, pull the body long rather than round. That's it. Come all the way down. Breathing in and out. Good. Let's do that once more for fun. Take the hands down again, listen to your body. This isn't for you, they're wonderful. All the way up, press the hips up, 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 up. Take the bottom down to the floor. Lift and lengthen. Hold the body down, lower. Lift and lengthen, exhale. Come all the way back up, beautiful. Well done. So you can give your legs a little shake out if you like. Now we're not going to come into full body class in a way your feet are going to come up. We're going to come, this is, I used to really despise this posture and now I do it, you'll notice I do it in most of my practices. It's really great for getting right into the insertion of the top of your hamstring, but on the outside. So it's just really lovely and works into the hips and the lower back. So you're lengthening and you're bringing the elbows as best as you can onto the outside of the shins. So we're just going to find a few breaths here. And again, keep your lungs so that they're working fully and completely. You don't want to be huddled over. And the shoulders do need to stay relaxed at all times. You lengthen into the back, piling the back down, down, down. Beautiful. Good work. Breathe in and out. Now, how are you feeling? Can you? Now, this is a such a great posture but it took me yonks and yonks probably years to get to grips with the feeling that I was almost felt like I was going to snap my elbows in half you know I will be really honest here so you want to you want to have to be really flexible into the hip and you try and get the arms as low down as possible and then you're bringing the feet away and pulling the body down and I know that some of you are just like people with longer limbs, they seem to be able to do this really nicely. And of course, flexibility into the hips. Good. And if you've got a small child or somebody who's willing to press the back down, that feels really lovely. Again, my really lovely might be different to your really lovely. So you just go wherever you can here. And I know we're all at different levels, and I'll always try and give you something to aspire to or work on. This is not about my practice or where my body's going, it's about yours. So, again, there's no kind of glamorous way of coming out of that, but we can, it can lead us into having some fun and taking the hands down to the floor and then rolling off and up. Woo, that's so much fun! And great for your wrists. So, give your wrists a little twist out if you just manage to get up on them in any shape or way or form. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to roll down to the floor and you can either do a shoulder stand or you got to listen to your body here guys. I know you've worked hard for the last over an hour. You can simply, and this is really nice too, you can just hang out with your legs off the wall. And it's brilliant for getting all of the blood flow back down to your heart. If you are not feeling too confident yet to get all the way up into your shoulder stand, you can use the wall to enable you to get up there. Which is really nice too. And for those of you who are more advanced, you can work on getting the feet down to the floor and then rolling over so that you come to a more comfortable position. Now, I would say only when your feet are on the floor, take your hands off the back body. A really nice one that I love is just to take the knee into the forehead. Lifting up. Just wherever you want to. Now, just made myself very unglamorous to get away from the away from the wall. But right. Let's come down very slowly with control. You roll the body down. Now use your hands and brakes. And again, we practiced this earlier on, yeah? So our stomach's fully engaged. So with my count, let's do this all together. So 10, 9, lower the legs, 8, 7, 6, 5, how are we doing? 4, 3, 2, 1, release. Now hands come underneath the bottom, lift into your fish, drop the crown of the head back down onto the floor. Wiggle your jaw around, this is really beautiful for anti-aging, rebalancing the thyroid glands. Give yourself a smile and a massive well done to you. Bringing the knees into the chest and just giving yourself a gentle rock from side to side. Lengthening the left leg back down to the floor, hold the right knee into the body. With the left hand, you're going to cross the right knee over. So just taking yourself down, breathing in. Good, breathing in and out. And then come back from the right knee into the chest. Take the right leg away. Lift the left leg up, bring the knee in. Hold on to the leg with the right hand, take the left arm back down. And again, find that gorgeous twist here. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to do a guided meditation now. So if you want to bring yourself into your Shavasana or your version of Shavasana, you can maybe put a pillow underneath the knees if you want to walk, put warm clothes on. Feel free to just relax in any which way is right for you. So get yourself all settled down. Relaxing into the shoulders.
breathing in and out. So closing your eyes now and allowing your breathing to just steady right down, to settle right down. Breathing slowly, breathing deeply. Feel the body relaxing. Feel the sensation of relaxation go all the way down to the toes, moving towards the knees, into the hips, all the way up to the shoulders and into the jaw, bringing your awareness into the third eye and then up to the crown chakra. Crown chakra at the top of the head. This is the space where you connect. Connect with your higher self. Your spiritual being. Your God or whatever it is that you believe in. So right now, it's so important for you to continue to connect to your source. Whatever feels right and proper for you. Breathe in and out. And simply committing to continue to connect, to continue to grow into that connection to bring strength into your physical body through developing that connection to your higher self, your source. Whatever it is that you believe is right and proper. So breathing in and out. Feel that sense of stillness, that sense of peace. And in that sense of stillness, in that moment of emptiness, you can create strength. In fact, you can create anything that you want to right now. So you decide right now what it is that you would like to create from that moment of peace and tranquility. And then bring your awareness now back into your physical being, back into your body. Feeling calm and strong and peaceful. Breathing lots of positive energy into your physical body. Breathing lots of energy into your physical body as you gently rock your head from side to side. Bend your knees, take your feet down to the floor and roll over to your left side. Posture of new beginnings. So today's affirmation. 
is I am strong, I am calm, and I am peaceful. I am strong, I am calm, and I am peaceful. When you're ready, bring your awareness back up, bring your body back up to seated. Stay quiet for a moment. Stay still just for a moment. Check in with your body. And just send it some gratitude. 